This video is going to show you how you could perform nested content spinning spin syntax and not get lost and stay organized. Basic content spinning spin syntax involves taking a sentence like this and turn it into a sentence that looks like this. This is single level content spinning. And today, as far as SEO is concerned, it's not very effective. I would use single level content spinning where uniqueness is not the most important thing. For example, if I'm submitting the same video to multiple video submission sites like YouTube, Vimeo, Viddler, etc., I might use this simple spin syntax on the video's description. A much more effective spin syntax is nested content spinning. However, with nested content spinning, it's very easy to get lost. This video is going to show you how to do nested content spinning and stay organized and not get lost. Nested content spinning involves first taking a sentence like the following and then creating multiple unique variations of the entire sentence. Examples of different variations of this sentence could be, in other words, we are rewording or restating the entire sentence. Put that into spin syntax so it looks like the following. Now what you want to do is you want to take each individual sentence by itself and apply spin syntax concentrating just on this single sentence. So this sentence would become something like, now that you have successfully performed spin syntax on that one single sentence, replace that one single sentence here with what you created here. Now take the second sentence and do the same. Concentrate on this single sentence. Apply spin syntax to this one single sentence alone. So this sentence here becomes then take this entire sentence, copy it to clipboard, and replace the entire second sentence here with the second sentence now with the spin syntax. Now take the final sentence by itself and concentrate on this sentence, applying spin syntax to this sentence only. So this sentence now becomes, now take this entire sentence, and replace it here via copying and pasting. It is a good idea every several minutes or so to go to a site like easyarticlelink.com slash article spinner to test your spin syntax to make sure there are no errors. You want to avoid the mistake of creating spin syntax for a large piece of content and then find out there's a missing bracket somewhere which will be almost impossible to discover. When you are finished, you will have a nested spun sentence and nested spun content which creates much higher quality content. To find out more about the concept of spinning and proper spin syntax for powerful article writing, visit affiliateswitchblade.com slash blog slash article spinning.